Hello everyone and welcome to our day trip of Anglesey. Today we are exploring some absolutely surreal locations all over Anglesey. We have an iconic castle, a completely surreal quarry and we are finishing with something extra special that you can probably just see in the background behind me now. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because this is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. But first, let's head back in time to around six hours ago this morning when we started our exploration of Anglesey and we have a pretty special unfinished castle. So here we are at Beaumaris Castle right now. Just uh, arrived on Anglesey, just crossed the bridge and this is our first little stop for the day and already it is incredible. And this castle is actually uh, very unique because it was famously unfinished. So let's have a little explore and I'll tell you a bit of interesting history about this amazing place. Beaumaris Castle was one of a few castles built by Edward I uh, during his invasion of Wales. The other castles were Carnarvon Castle, Conwy Castle and Harlot Castle which we only visited a few days ago and this was to be his final biggest achievement, biggest castle, the way that he could really control Wales uh, but he never finished it. crazy how everything is so sunny here but look over into the Snowdonia mountains over there and it's just yeah. cloud and rain which is what we drove out of. So the construction of this castle officially kind of started on the 10th of April 1295. The castle is just absolutely full of brutal defensive strategies so if this castle would have been completed I think it would have probably been one of the most formidable castles in the area. But alas, Edward I ended up running out of money as well as being distracted by uh, some trouble that was brewing up in Scotland at the time. And by the 1320s, construction of this castle had pretty much ground to a halt. So yes, let's leave our exploration of this castle here and move on further up to Anglesey to our next interesting attraction. And this one should be pretty surreal. We're driving across Anglesey right now. It's very shaky footage, I'm sorry. Okay. I apologise for the people. Whee! So yes, here we are at Paris Mountain that you can see behind me. This is the great open cast and it is so impressive and surreal. It's even surpassed my expectations. So this dates back to the 2nd of March 1768 when a mass of copper ore was found relatively close to the surface here. Believe it or not, this massive chasm that you can see behind me was made by people with just pickaxes, shovels and a little bit of gunpowder. And underneath all of this there's actually tons more little mines and caverns and shafts. You can actually see a few openings throughout. Pretty. Yes. Yes. It's like we're on the moon. Right? No, I think on Mars. On I don't Mars. think the, the moon is yes, yes, this right. colour. The moon is cheese. Yes, obvious. What a contrast, eh? Yes. Oh, you have so different. the green of Anglesey. Yeah. And the this. <laughs> you see some remains of uh, some old buildings behind us. I'm not too sure what they were used for, but this whole place reminds me quite a lot of uh, the Norwick Slate Quarry, which we actually visited yesterday uh, in Snowdonia. If you are interested in seeing more amazing mining places, I will link that up here somewhere and down in the description if you want to watch. It does have America vibes, doesn't yeah. it? I feel like I should change my name to What or White and get an RV. <laughs> I've never been to America, but from movies, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> pictures, yeah, well. that, that's what I imagine. Here we are inside the uh, remains of this windmill. This is actually a 19th century windmill. So essentially, as they started to mine deeper and deeper, they needed uh, to use steam power in order to uh, drain the water from the mines. But the problem with steam engines was they burned a lot of coal, so therefore they were very expensive to run. So this was built and uh, wind power was much cheaper, much more efficient. Okay, so that sums up our visit to uh, Paris Mountain. We just gotta find our way out of this uh, copper maze now. 
and back to the car and then we're heading another 10-15 minutes on right up to the coast this time uh, for our final location of the day and I'm really excited for this one. It's more to do with old disused industry, uh, more abandoned buildings, my favourite thing. Uh, so yes, let's go. So here we are now basking in the lovely sunny landscapes of Anglesey. It's hard to think when we left Snowdonia this morning. It was raining, yep. it was cold, yep. and it was wet. <laughs> and, uh, and now here we are having a cookie in the sun. How's the cookie? It's very good. It's, it's Tesco's finest. You can get a 300 cookie. calories a cookie. <laughs> well, it better be worth <laughs> And that leads us back to here. And this is uh, Porth Wen Brickworks that you can see behind me right now. Sort of the coolest thing I have ever seen. Just absolutely spectacular. The location is everything as well. So let me tell you a little bit of history about these amazing brickworks. So these brickworks were a Victorian brick manufacturing facility. The special bricks that were produced here were used to line steel furnaces at the time. This place was built in the mid 19th century and it was producing bricks up until 1914. It then opened again briefly from 1924 up to 1949 when it closed for good uh, and this is how we see it today. So much of the machinery is still here, still completely intact, which is really rare to see. Usually these places just get stripped of absolutely anything, but this just seems so real. Like you can really imagine what it was like back in its day. So let's go have a further look now inside see what else we see. That looks very precarious. Everything looks precarious. <laughs> really is a miracle how this building is still standing. There's just nothing underneath it. Uh, I assume this is all because of just coastal erosion. The sea is sort of coming in over there. I don't know where. Uh, how long this building will be alive because uh, this is like it's just about to go. Yeah, a smaller one. A very small one. A little bit of a climb up this rock here, but I just had to try and get the camera up here because just to get the perfect view of um, these brickworks here and the surrounding bay. It's like your own private bay here. Absolutely gorgeous. It thoroughly surpassed my expectations once again. Anglesey certainly has a habit of doing just that. So I'm actually inside one of the kilns right now. <laughs> it's a very surreal place to be. Indeed, still in such extremely good condition. There's actually three of these kilns all alongside each other. This is the easiest to access, but I believe you can get into the others as well. And so, with that, that sums up our video. Uh, we're getting to the end of our day now on our exploration out of Anglesey. Anglesey never fails to disappoint us. We absolutely love coming here every single time. Uh, so yes, if you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out, it really means a lot. I love making videos and it means I can make even more. If you did enjoy this, we have so many more videos from all over Wales. We can't get enough of Wales. We're always here. Um, so yes, feel free to check out that playlist. I'll link it down in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.